Okay, here is a little mini fire alarm circuit for these beginner fuck fire alarm enthusiasts, fire alarm collectors that want to learn basic fire alarm skills. As you saw the last time I had this, I had a spectral alert. The last video, I had a spectral alert advanced ceiling horn strobe. As you can see, the notification appliance is different. I have a spectral alert classic remote strobe. So, first of all, you're going to want a pair of 9-volt batteries. If you cannot afford an adapter or a... Or any sort, if you cannot afford a 24-volt or 9-volt adapter. So, so, if you cannot afford any of this, your best bet is to go for 9-volt batteries. Or if you just don't, or if you don't know if, where to find one, you could use 9-volt batteries clamp them together like what I have right here. So next thing you're, wanted, you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want the negative. You're gonna want to wire the negative. You're gonna want a, a, a single pull, single throw pull station like a BG12 for example. Something that is has two sets of contacts which are easier to wire up. So you're gonna want to put the negative wire to the negative terminal of the pull station you're going to want a conventional pull station or, idle, or it might not work. And then you're going to want to wire the negative pause, the negative terminal to the negative terminal of the um, battery. And what you're, what you're going to do is you're going to want to have the positive, put the positive on the battery and, pu and put the positive all the way to the positive terminal of the notification appliance. And then you're going to want to connect another negative you're going to want to connect your 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 um uh, negative to the positive of the pull station and as you can see right here so give it a quick demonstration three two one it's 11 o'clock right now so i cannot use a horn strobe and I don't have any chime strobes, so I have to work with a remote strobe. And as you can see, it works really well. Well, for all you beginner collectors that don't have a panel and want to learn basic fire alarm skills this is a good way to learn before you can get a panel to wire it up but i recommend you do this first and wire up a conventional panel and if you can get a conventional panel first before you move on to addressable because addressable panels they they can get a little complicated but they're not that hard to, they weren't that hard for me to wire up it was frustrating at first, but well, with a little help, it made my life so much easier when I wired up the AFP100, when I wired the B BGX101L to the AFP100. It, and that's how I did my system test videos for Season 2. So, um, I hope this helps. So, anyways, thank you for watching.